This is a Thunder Game Report. Hi, I'm Randy Renner at Chesapeake Energy Arena, where the Thunder just throttled the Houston Rockets tonight, 117 to 86. The Rockets were shut out in the first half of the first quarter. Thunder zipping out to a 13 to nothing lead. That seemed to take some of the wind out of the Rockets' sails. They were coming in here on the fourth, playing their fourth game in five nights, but the Thunder took it to them, especially on defense. The offense also was humming tonight. Just about everybody had a big game. Kevin Durant had a monster game, and Jeremy Lamb had a career night. Scotty Brooks on the podium after the game, and we talked to both Kevin Durant and Tabo Cephalosha. Well, defensively, guys, um, I thought our guys really locked in, uh, set the tone of the basketball game on the defensive end. Uh, we were going into the game. We did not want to give up transition uh, points or shots, and I don't think they had many going into that fourth quarter. And in the fourth quarter, they had a few. But and then offensively, we I thought the, it seems like every bucket scored in that first quarter what first quarter was assisted, uh, which was uh, good to see. Twenty eight assists, only on you know a few turnovers throughout the game. But I thought. Both ends of the floor, guys really did a good job. Jeremy was really good tonight. Also, he did a really good job of setting, getting the setups and coming off screens hard, and we did a good job of setting screens. Can't leave out Perk. Perk does, did a good job of uh, making, making Howard's uh, shots tough and also making his catches dif difficult, and I thought he did a good job of really using his strength, his body, his uh, interior defense. Darnell Mayberry, the Oklahoma Scott, once again, you don't even mention Kevin Durant, 33 points, 13 rebounds, five assists. He did a little bit of everything. What would you like most? Well, I can mention him every game and every day. You know, he's great to be around. Um, his rebounds, 13 rebounds tonight. But he's been rebounding. He's been rebounding for years now. Uh, and also def uh, his defense. He really locked in defensively. He wasn't giving up um, any open shots. He was chasing, uh, chasing down, uh, chasing their guys off of screens, and he did a good job of switching when we had, when we did switch with him and Serge and a few of our other guys. He really locked in on the defensive end. Offensively, he's going to have games like this quite often, you know, and we know what he does offensively. Uh, but the energy he had on the defensive end was outstanding tonight. Well, I, I think the defensively, I don't think he has to do anything different. And as a group, we don't have to do anything different. We have to be a stingy defensive team. Uh, no matter who's on the floor, we can play guys that haven't played much. Their job, they know, they know our identity. They know what we talk about as a staff. Uh, and they talk about it during timeouts. We have to be a, a defensive team. So... Kevin doesn't have to change. He just has to. He's one of the one of our better defenders, and you know it's easy to pick and uh, pick out all of his offensive um, abilities. But he, when we're really, really good, and the reason why we've been really good is his defense has been good. Michael Kenny Norman transcript. Uh, can you just talk about when they were able to get it close there in the, in the third? I think within nine, and then y'all just came out with a. I think it was like a ten to three run, a ten zero run. Just how critical was that to be able to put them away? Well, we knew that they weren't going to stop playing. Uh, this team shoots a lot of threes, and they make a lot of threes. So you can get, get the points very quickly. Uh, so we knew that we had to play the right uh, defensive mentality. It's just continue to force them to take shots in our, in our half-court defense, against our half-court half defense. Don't give him any points in transition. I thought uh, I thought it was great tonight. We didn't we didn't waste uh, we didn't have any negative steps running back in in defensive transition. And that's what that's what we have to do against this team. This team is a very explosive, one of the best scoring teams in the game, and we did a good job of making them miss a lot of shots. Mur Murray Evans, Associated Press, Coach, really strong performances tonight by Jeremy Lamb and and uh, Reggie Jackson. Are those the kind of performances that you're kind of looking for, for the next few weeks while Russell is out? Um, I'm looking for just solid basketball performances by all of our guys, whether it's Reggie, 16 and 8, uh, Jeremy, 22, 5 and 5. Um, those numbers are 
or good numbers, but I don't, I don't, I don't go into the game expecting them. I just go into the game. They have to just compete defensively and play solid offense and continue to move the ball. 28 assists was good tonight. We've been passing the ball, I would say, you know, 13, 14, maybe even 15 games now at a high level, and we just have to continue to do that no matter who's on the floor. We trust all of our guys. You know, we have a good basketball team, and, and that, that shows throughout the year so far. Kevin Kuzmanski, News 9. You guys, it really hit me watching tonight without Westbrook. He's a guy that when the fast break comes, a lot of times it's just give him the ball and let him watch him go. Without him, you guys seem like a really good job of filling lanes in the fast break. Uh, Jeremy and these guys seem to always know which lane to fill, and it's a well-oiled machine. How much do you practice stuff like that in, in, in practice? And talk about without Russell how important it is that everyone executes on the fast break like that. Well, I thought uh, yesterday we had a, a good practice. Or I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. A couple of days ago we had a, a good film session on running lanes, on setting screens, on giving yourself up for good shots. And there was many opportunities that we did that tonight. And it's great to see. Um, we take advantage of um, our abilities. And we know... We know how we have to play to be successful, and that has to be uh, defensive-minded basketball and continue to execute our offense with ex execution, with energy cuts, with great setups, with great screens and great ball movement and great passing, and we did that tonight. Michael Wallace, ESPN. Uh, Coach, obviously you want to have health. You want Westbrook out there, but how much more comfortable um, psychologically and physically is Kevin Durant out there facing this challenge uh, more so than he was maybe even last year in the playoffs? Well, I mean, Ke Kevin's one of the best players in the world. That's, I mean, that's, that's not earth-shattering uh, statement there. He's, he has confidence in his teammates. And, you know, I don't, ha I don't think I have to explain the confidence he has in himself, but he has confidence in his teammates. That's what makes our team really good. He believes in all of our guys. We work hard together. Uh, he's coachable. He, he loves competing. And he loves inspiring his teammates, and that's what we—that's what we we do every day. We take pride in each other. We take pride in being a good basketball team, and and we don't discount any part any parts of being a good basketball team. We want to be a good defensive team. We want to be a good offensive team. We want to be a good free throw blockout team. We want to be a good team overall overall team. And Kevin is every bit of what we want to be, and that's a good all around player. He wants to fill the stat sheet up every night. Kevin can probably score. 35, 40 points on uh, on demand, but he wants to he wants to share the ball. He wants to defend. He wants to rebound. He's a great player. Nick Allen and I made that come. He held them scoreless for the first six minutes and 30 seconds of this game. What's it like to kind of be a part of that stretch? And is that as suffocating as you? Well, we we played good defense and they missed some shots, but we played some good defense. You know, you don't go into games thinking that uh, the team is not going to score for uh, that long of a stretch. But we did play some good defense. Our guys really got into the basketball. They got into the jump shot. They got into the pass. And they did a good job blocking out. Our rebounds, 49-38. to 38, And they had nine offensive rebounds in the first half, only two in the second. So those are, those are things I'm proud of our, our guys with. They play hard. They play hard every night. I never have to worry about guys not competing. They, they compete because they know that's, a, that's what our team does. Valencia King, KKVI Dallas. Coach, we've seen the progression of Jeremy Lamb and Perry Jones. Talk about the progression of the current Ricky, um, Andre Robertson. Well, I, I think he's done a good job. He's only he's had limited uh, minutes. Partly is we have a really good team. It's hard to break in. Uh, but when he is, when we've had some injuries when he started the, you know, the, the games that he started. I thought he's done a great good job on the guys that he had to guard. Uh, you know, hit Corver, OJ Mayo. Uh, Bayless, I thought he did a good job on those guys, um, the guys that he had to guard. He's, he's going to be a very good player for us. I get to see it every day in practice. Uh, he loves the game. He loves to compete. And I like what he did tonight. Didn't play it all game long, but came in with you know 7.40 on the clock and, and played a good basketball game. Made Thanks. good passes to Steven on the dunk. Tabo, held him scoreless for the first six minutes and 30 seconds. What's that like to kind of be a part of that that streak there at the beginning of the game? It was good, you know, but um, 
we, we we don't think too much, you know. We just play, and uh, but definitely, you know, it was it was it was pretty good. You know, the energy was high. Uh, we were moving the ball, um, and and definitely doing a good job defensively. They only took four shots in transition tonight. How proud are you of the the effort to get back? Yeah, you know that was a game plan, and we followed it to the tip. So that was definitely a um, you know good good job on everybody's part. You know, running back, uh, making sure we get good shots also. Uh, so so the defensive uh, transition was very good. Anything else? Tabo, do you believe in statement games, and was this a statement game? I don't believe in it, and uh, you know it's uh, December, I believe. So, um, you know, we got a lot more basketball to be played. And, uh, you know, obviously, you know, we right now without Russell. So this is not really the team that, you know, we we, uh, we want to go in the playoff with. So, um, but definitely, you know, we uh, played well and uh, everybody stepped up and, and did their job tonight. Because you are without Westbrook, do, do you guys have to sort of make a statement to yourselves? And if not the rest of the league, the, what you can do without him? There's no statement. There's nothing, you know, like that. We, we just want to come out and play play hard, you know, play for one another. Um, and and you know win games and that's what we were able to do tonight and uh, you know we got to carry that on and, and keep playing that way. Kendall's performance, obviously, he does a, he does a lot on the court. But what what impressed you most tonight about his all around play? Uh, you know he does everything and uh, you know there's there's nothing new. You know he's a um, an incredible player and he showed it, showed it again tonight. You know just making tough shots, making shots, making plays, uh, finding the open man. So he does a little bit of everything, grabbing rebounds, you know, just uh, really everything to, uh, you know, get us get us to win. The hot start you guys got off to, came out, jumped out 13 nothing. the crowd was going crazy. It seemed like for a team that Houston played four games in five nights, it sort of demoralized them a little bit right off the bat. How important was that fast start for you guys? It was good. You know, we want to start every every night like that, you know, just playing the right way, playing well, uh, getting the energy up, and that's what we were able to do tonight. You figured out how to guard James a little bit more? I know you went against him a lot in practice when he was here, but tonight you really hold him in check. Are you figuring out how to you slow him down more? I, w I wouldn't say that. You know, I think my teammates did a great job helping me. Uh, you know, Serge getting blocks early, so that I kind of, you know, took his – driving games a little bit away. After that, you know, just try to stay in front of him. Um, so, you know, tonight, again, we did a good job. Um, so it's a team effort. How would you describe this performance overall, Kevin? I think we uh, uh, we set a tone defensively early on to start the game. And, uh, you know, we always want to uh, play off our defense. And, you know, you got you to gotta give credit to Perk and uh, Serge for doing a great job in the interior. And, uh, Point guards and wings doing a good job of containing the ball. So this team is a high-powered offense, and uh, you know we just wanted to. Uh, we know we can't take away everything from them. We just wanted to make it tough on them. I think we did a decent job. Okay, when we talk about setting the tone, I know this your message to Perry Jones early in the game when you brought him off the free throw line. Is that a different way of encouraging and then setting the tone in the game? Uh, I was trying to help him out. I mean, there's certain ways you talk to your teammates and. Um, sometimes you got to get out, get out for him. Sometimes you got to encourage him. And uh, Perry's one of those guys that uh, he listens and he wants to get better. And, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's coachable with, you know, with everybody, not just Scotty and, you know, the rest of the staff. He's with his teammates as well. So I just try to help him out and ignite him a little bit and, and uh, let him know I'm with him. And he came out and made some big plays. Hey, Brooklyn on a hot shoot, shooting streak is fun, but starting off like that defensively, Blanking them as long as you did for six minutes of the game or so, that seemed like a lot of fun too. Yeah, I mean it's fun knowing that you know we're not making shots. You know it's not gonna be it's gonna be nice when you shoot 20, 30 percent from the field. But knowing you're always gonna be in games by your defense is a, it's a great feeling. And, uh, we just like I said, this team is that team is a very very high powered offense and uh, they're so quick up the floor. We just wanted to uh, just want to see let them see bodies and just play hard. You mentioned letting them see bodies. They only took four shots in transition. Yeah. How great did it feel to be able to execute on, on that big part of the game plan? I think that's what we struggled is transition defense. And uh, we just put a big emphasis on it yesterday in film, um, just getting back. And guys like Jeremy Lin and James and Parsons, they do a great job of putting pressure on you. So uh, we just wanted to make sure we, we stopped those guys and also build out to the three-point line. And uh, we got to do a better job better, but I think tonight was a step in the right direction. It's something special about the game of basketball, yeah, that's it for me. You know, I never want to take this game for granted. 
Every time I step on that floor, it's a blessing. So I just want to give it my all, play as hard as I can, have fun with it, no matter who's out there on the floor uh, playing against us. And tonight is just, you know, it's another team. Uh, and I just wanted to, you know, play my heart off for my for my guys. It looks like you have another level, though, Kevin. I mean, like, oh, I guess maybe you saying it looks like you went to another level today. Do you feel like you have that in your game that you can tap into whenever you feel like you need to? Uh, I'm not one of those guys that can turn on and turn it off. Uh, of course, there's going to be good nights and bad nights, but I just try to keep my intensity at the same level. Uh, offensively, of course, is you know, you might have a high streak here and there, but I just want to keep the same intensity level every time I step on the court. And, um, you know, just try to do what I can for my team. You never want to get used to playing without Russ, obviously, but how much more psychologically are you prepared for this this stretch, more so than even the playoffs last year? Yeah, I mean, it was both times, you know, kind of kind of hit us out of nowhere. And um, playoffs, you know, if we don't want to make any excuses, don't get me wrong. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, having a the guy there for so long, it just suddenly he's not there. Um, you know, we came into practice that day preparing – you know, for him to be there and then saying that he was out for the rest of the playoffs, that was a big change for us. But, you know, I think going through that kind of prepared us for this time. And it's still tough not having him here, but, you know, we, we know what we have to do now. And uh, we learned from our mistakes last time, and hopefully we just keep getting better. And, uh, you know, when he comes back, it's, a, it's kind of a seamless transition for him. Perk's defensive, last one here. Perk's defensive job on Dwight's night. How, how important was that kind of taking everyone else on the Rockets out of their game when he does that? Well, he takes that. He takes every matchup personally. That's what I love about Perk. And uh, no matter who it is, whether it's Dwight Howard or a rookie center, you know, he takes it personal. And uh, he just wanted to make it tough on him. You know, Dwight's a great scorer, a great player, uh, but he just he just wanted to make it tough on him. I think tonight he did a great job. Durant ended up with 33 points and 13 rebounds on 11 for 17 shooting. Tabo, who you saw there just a moment ago, had 13 points, all of those coming in the first half, and Jeremy Lamb's career night, 22 points. Also, the Thunder defensively held both James Harden and Dwight Howard to single digits tonight. Kendrick Perkins with a fantastic job, as he usually does on Dwight Howard, holding Howard to just four for 13 shooting tonight. It was a great performance by the Thunder, and for the first time this season, playing without Russell Westbrook, Oklahoma City scored over 100 points. They'd come in averaging just 91 and a half without Westbrook in the lineup. They win it tonight, 117 to 86. Coming up next, the Portland Trail Blazers roll in here on New Year's Eve, and we'll be here also, so check back with us on ThunderGameReport.com.